Facebook banned a gay ex-liberal on Wednesday amid his plans to organize an event encouraging Democrats to «walk away» from their party. The former liberal and walkaway campaign founder, Brandon Straka, tweeted a message from Facebook explaining that he has been temporarily banned on Facebook for 30 days. The post that was supposedly against Facebook's content standards was simply a link to Alex Jones' radio show, where Straka was a scheduled guest. This is in the wake of the complete blacklisting of Jones from nearly every social media site, including Facebook. However, a simple link to a harmless website should not warrant a 30-day ban and again raises the issue of political censorship. The ban will severely impact Straka's ability to advertise his event, Walkaway, from October 26 to 28. I'm devastated right now, Straka told the Gateway Pundit. Hashtag walkaway campaign is a grassroots movement. We don't have corporate sponsors. We don't have backers. We are raising the money and the awareness for our event ourselves. We use GoFundMe to raise money. And today Facebook took away my ability to communicate with the 180,000 members of the campaign leading up to the march. In a video advertising the event, Straka said that he had left liberalism and the Democratic Party, and the hashtag walkaway campaign was meant to encourage others to share their stories about walking away from the Democratic Party. I wonder how many times Straka had been banned when he was a Democrat? The answer is probably none. The blatant censorship from big tech companies seems to only target conservatives. For example, Twitter has been trying to crack down on what they perceive as bots, but it ends up banning genuine supporters of President Donald Trump. One of the Twitter users who was flagged as a bot was 70-year-old Trump supporter Nina Tomasieski, according to Fox News. Almost all of us are considered a bot, Tomasieski said. In a leaked video of an internal Google meeting held the day after Trump won the election that was published by Breitbart on Wednesday, Google's leadership suggested ways they were going to combat Trump and his supporters. Google CFO Ruth Porat said Google would «use the great strength and resources and reach we have» to advance their «values». The censorship from big tech has been underway and we are already feeling the effects. We are used to censorship from big tech companies, but Facebook has hit a new low for banning Straka, a peaceful ex-liberal.